A heat map calendar is a powerful way to track and visualize our activities. If you use Obsidian and want to track your habits and activities with a heat map calendar, you have landed on the right video. This video will teach you how to create a heat map calendar tailored for tracking habits and other activities. Previously, I talked about creating a super simple habit tracker with DataView login. But this video is going to be a little advanced way to track your habits, that is by using a heat map calendar. Let me take you to my computer screen and show you how you can start using the heat map calendar within Obsidian in order to track habits and activities. To do this, we'll need two plugins. The first plugin is Obsidian Data View and the second plugin is heat map calendar. Now, let me take you to Obsidian Vault and start showing you how it's done. First thing you'll need to do is install these two plugins, Data View plugin and Obsidian heat map calendar. So, I'll just search for data view over here, install it, enable the data view plugin and here you'll need to go to options and enable JavaScript queries and enable inline JavaScript queries. The second plugin is heat map calendar that we need to install. Go to browse, search for heat map calendar and currently it has around 46,000 downloads. Click on install and you can see here, enable it and if you go to options, you can only see there is a option to create colors here. So we'll not do that here. Once you have finished installing the required plugins, you'll need to have your data in place. Where do you want to query data from? For example, I have created a new nodes under this folder called as daily note. And here's a dummy node that I created for daily note, which has nothing but just four properties that we want to track. That is exercise, spend, mood, and writing. These are the four properties that we want to track and visualize in the heat map calendar. Now let's create a new node and name it habit calendar. Now you need to add the JavaScript code in order to render the heat map calendar. Just go to the GitHub page of the Obsidian heat map calendar. Take a look at this code because it explains all of the things that you can do within the heat map calendar. Here you can go inside this example world and if you go on this overview note, here are few JavaScript codes that you can copy and use it in your world. So I'll just copy this first code which will help to create a simple heat map calendar. I'll just hit copy and go to obsidian and add this code over here. I'll need to add the data view JS first and then add that code. And if I go to preview mode, you can see here the heat map calendar is rendered. But this is not tracking anything from our world. So how do we do that? For that, you can just make some changes in this code. The first thing here is you can change the title of the code, right? The title currently is exercise with two emojis, which is in bold format. And here are the colors that are specified to visualize the intensity of our activity, right? And another thing that you want to change when you are using this script in your world is this section over here. Write the name of the folder or the location of the nodes from where you want to query from. For example, in my case, the name of my folder is daily note. And I want to track a property called as exercise over here. Right? So I'll need to write with capital E exercise. And I'll also change the intensity to exercise with capital E, right? Now, if I go to preview mode, you can see here the heat map calendar is rendered with different colors. And the light color shows low intensity, whereas the red color shows high intensity. For example, in the exercise note in my daily notes, I'm logging in the duration of the workout, for example, right? So this is 57 minutes of workout. 30 minutes of workout, 10 min 56 minutes of workout, just like that. And based on that number, it is visualized over here. It will take from the lowest number to the highest number and it will visualize. For example, this is the lightest color over here. And if I go into this node, you can see the exercise duration is only 15 minutes. And it is the darkest color, which means the exercise duration is 78 minutes, which might be the highest one. So this is a super simple example of using a habit tracker calendar. Now let's learn how to create a heat map calendar with a specific target value. For example, I have this 
exercise property, right? And I'm logging in the duration of my workouts. And let's say your goal is to exercise 30 minutes every day. Then you can make a slight change to the code in order to use the heat map calendar to visualize whether you have hit that target or not. For that, you can use a property called as intensity scale int, which you can see here in the documentation of heat map calendar. Intensity scale int, which defaults to the highest value passed to the entries. So you'll just need to add this intensity scale int between your code. I'll just copy this code from here, add it over here, and add the intensity scale in property after the calendar data and i have added 30 minutes as the goal here right so if i go to preview mode it does not look much different from the above one here you can do so by specifying a different color at the end here right let me just write a black color code here if i go to preview mode now you can see here all of these black colors mean that we have accomplished our goal. We have met our goal for that day. You can see if I go here, it's 78 minutes. But if I go into this red, it's 20 minutes. It's 10 minutes. And it might be 15 minutes. Just like that. You can change the color to any color by searching the hex code color. I love this website called colorhex.com. And you can just choose a color that you want. For example, you can just use this green color, add this color code over here. If I go to preview now, all these green colors mean that we have hit our goal for that day. So this is the second type of heat map calendar that you might want to use. Now let's learn to create a don't break a chain type of heat map calendar. For that, we'll again need to copy the code from GitHub heat map calendar and go to this page overview md and you will see here there is a code for writing don't break the chain so i'll just copy it go to obsidian add the code over here by writing data view javascript paste the code here if i go to preview nothing gets shown and let me just change the name i'll let the name be same you will need to change this to source nodes daily note where property is writing with capital w you can see there is a chain inside this box which is what we have added over here you can also add other emojis such as check boxes here i'll just use the check mark here this one i don't know why it's not writing so i'll first add this over the text and then i'll copy it over here now it looks something like this because we have these nodes side by side it's not looking that good but if i close this one it looks good you can also change the background color let me source for a good hex code let's use this one copy this code and add it over here because this is not a number property but a check mark property it, it can only have one color as well so i'll just paste the color go to preview mode and it's zero because we have not added the right syntax over here we need to add it in quotes double quotes if i go to preview now this is the heat map calendar for don't break the chain style just remove this check emoji from here now let's create another type of heat map calendar which can be used for measuring intensities at a different scale you can just copy the cost code from here and add it over here now add intensity scale start and intensity scale end. And depending on the property that you are trying to track, you can choose different values. For example, I want to use this for tracking mood and this value goes from one to 10, right? So I can just use the intensity scale start at one and in intensity scale end at 10. But there are only five colors over here, which means two same numbers will have the same intensity when visualized in the heat map calendar. You can change that by adding as much color as you can here. For that, you can use the same website, colorhex.com and you can just choose the color that you want. Let's say I'm using this color, right? And if you go down, you will find these 
different tints of this color 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 there will be 11 tints for this color you can just copy them one by one and add it over here the way you do it is write double quotes and just use the hex code i thought that's a lot of work to copy all of this course so i just asked chat gpt to do the work i just copied all of these hex cores and told to write write in this format and it just did its work so i'll just copy this code go to obsidian and add it over here and now if i go to preview mode it will show something like this but it's only showing one color because we have not changed the property type here right we'll need to change it to mode and the intensity to mode as well now if i go to preview you can see this is what it will look like so this is a simple way you can use the obsidian heat map calendar plugin in order to visualize different activities and habits inside of obsidian if you want to deep dive into this plugin and explore more you can also check out the documentation section as well as download the example board from this github page which you can find over here this is the example world you can download this whole code and just use this example world in order to learn more about this plugin if you found this video valuable please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with some really great tutorials on obsidian in the future have a great time bye bye